Hey everyone, Joey here with a quick news update. As the podcast Kiwi Talks published a special episode reviewing Metroid Prime Remastered with the original game's lead technical engineer, Jack Matthews. There they went over the elements of the remaster as well as his thoughts on how Nintendo marketed it and why the OG team deserves to be properly credited. Here are some highlights from the episode. Firstly, Matthews was impressed with how detailed the game is both geometrically and textured, especially running at 60 frames per second on the Switch, which is very difficult to do. The remaster achieves this through physically based rendering, which is a rendering technique that's been available since PS4. It's a level of fidelity that shouldn't have been possible at 60 FPS on Switch, and it's why he believes it's the best looking Switch game. He reiterated later in the video that he can't believe Retro managed to pull off this Herculean task, and he feels like Retro went back to a mantra his development team had when working on the original game, being, we do what Nintendo don't. He also believes that this was the best way to get people excited for Metroid Prime 4, by showing the skills of the current staff at Retro Studios. Matthews mentioned that the original staff deserve to be credited for the remaster as well, because it's using the original code, as well as the artwork, which is modeled after the original artwork as well. He believes not crediting those staff members is petty and ridiculous, and he would even be satisfied if the original credits were an unlockable extra. Even then, he doesn't want to use his complaint about the credits to diminish the great work the remaster staff did on the project, and he's proud of all of them. Finally, he concluded by commenting on the shadow drop of Metroid Prime Remastered by saying he thought that Nintendo didn't think it would do well at all, especially since it released in February when not a lot of good things like movies come out. He loves this repeat of history where Nintendo underestimates Retro and then Retro just blows it out of the park. But those are just some of the highlights from this Kiwi Talks episode. Be sure to click the link in the description below to watch the full video.